right, this is Ronaldo Moe with PPG back with another informative video. I got one coming at you. I got a top five, top five items. And I'm doing a framing inspection. These are my top five items. These are the things that I look for the most. Top five. And I'm doing a framing rough inspection. These are mine. You can include yours down in the comments if you want, but these are my top five items that I look for when I am doing a framing rough inspection. Okay. Now these are my top five items. These are mine. <laughs> you can list some of yours down in the comments below if you want to, but these are my top five, five items that I look for when I'm doing a framing rough inspection. First of all, you got to check for your point loads. See up top, there's a ridge beam, there's a three ply ridge beam that is being transferred down. It looks to be maybe a two by eight, maybe two by 10. Then it is being transferred down. And if you look, there are four studs that is being transferred down to the next level and down to the foundation wall. So point loads, always look for your point, point loads and make sure that the weight is being transferred down to the foundation wall or slab. Point loads. Next item, uh, hangers. Any, any joists that require hangers, Make sure that the hangers, the correct size hangers are being used, first of all. And there are fasteners in all the holes for those hangers. All right, number three, any bottom and top plate penetrations, they must be sealed. It's critical. Bottom top plate penetrations. I don't know what the hell the plumber was doing here. Any penetrations, top bottom plate penetrations, they all must be sealed. Very important. All penetrations, top and bottom plate must be sealed up. All right, so another one that I look for is all concealed chases. It's a concealed chase. It flex duct and some plumbing going through it. They all have to be sealed at the top and the bottom. And that one's got a big, a huge hole. I don't know what they were trying to do with that one, but that's got to be sealed up. And at the bottom as well. Looks like they were going to run something through that chase and decided to change their mind. Maybe they were going to run this, that vent line through. They decided to change their mind, but you still have to seal up all concealed chases. And last, but not least, the anchor bolts. The anchor bolts have to be within 12 inches of the beginning of a new seal plate. So within 12 inches, of here an anchor bolt you have to have an anchor bolt and then they have to be every six feet after that and they can't they have to be in that middle third area of the seal plate they can't be off center like that they can't be out close to the edge of the seal plate that way either they have to be in that middle third so these are my top five like i said earlier you can include yours but these are the items that I look for. Top five most important items while doing a framing.